The first question is that Amendment 7643.1 in the name of Neil Bibby, which seeks to amend Business Motion 7643 in the name of George Adam, on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau, setting out a business programme, be agreed, and members should cast their votes now. I call CoCab Stewart to cast a proxy vote on behalf of Stuart McMillan. No. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 7643.1 in the name of Neil Bibby is yes 21, no 96. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that business motion 7643 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau setting out a business programme be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed. Therefore, we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. I call CoCab Stewart to cast a proxy vote on behalf of Stuart McMillan. Yes. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on motion 7643 in the name of George Adam is yes, 101, no, 21. There were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. The next item of business is consideration of Parliamentary Bureau motion 7644 on approval of an SSI. And I ask George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau to move the motion. Move, President Officer. Thank you. I call on Daniel Johnson. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. I, I'd like to make a brief comment about this SSI, which is to do with the increase of the additional dwelling uh, supplement. And while Labour supports that in, in broad uh, terms, I would like to just comment on the impact that that has on uh, uh, local authorities, because ultimately local authorities being liable to pay additional dwelling supplement, I think runs contrary to our intention to increase the stock 
of uh, housing available for uh, social uh, rent. Indeed, it is also uh, a case of uh, one part of the public sector being levied, paying to another. So it is not even as though that this has a cost overall to the public finances. These were arguments that were rehearsed uh, when this matter came before the Finance Committee. Uh, but I would ask the Minister to reflect upon this. I know that this is an issue that has been consulted on, and I would ask the Scottish Government to bring forward an exemption uh, for local authorities so they can maximise the funds they have available for bringing uh, housing into the social rented sector, which is particularly important for areas which have limited land uh, for development. Um, so I would ask the Minister to bring forward uh, proposals at the earliest opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. And I call on the Minister, Tom Arthur. Presiding officer, the land and buildings transaction tax, additional amount transactions relating to second homes, etc., amendment order 2022, increases the rate of the additional dwelling supplement from 4 to 6 per cent, with effect from 16 December 2022. This change is intended to further protect opportunities for first time buyers and home movers by helping them to compete with buy to let investors and second home owners. It is also forecast to re raise much needed revenue at a time when public finances are are under significant pressure. The SFC estimate that increasing the rate will overall result in an additional £34 million being raised from the ADS next financial year. Members have raised concerns about the potential impact of this measure on a range of issues, and I note the points that Daniel Johnson makes. I wish to reassure him, as I set out at the Finance and Public Administration Committee, that we are considering very carefully the evidence brought forward as part of our ADS review, including on the measures pertaining to local government that he raises, and we will be publishing the outcome of that review and next steps shortly. Thank you. The question on this motion will be put at decision time. The next item of business is consideration of two parliamentary bureau motions, and I ask George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau to move motions 7645 on approval of an SSI and 7645 on designation of a lead committee. 7646, my apologies. Both moved. Thank you very much, Minister. The question on these motions will be put at decision time and there are 11 questions to be put as a result of today's business. The first is that Amendment 7613.2 in the name of Shona Robison, which seeks to amend motion 7613 in the name of Miles Briggs on homeless emergency be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. I call CoCab Stewart for a proxy vote on behalf of Stuart McMillan. Yes. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 7613.2 in the name of Shona Robison is yes, 69, no, 55, there were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore agreed. The next question is that amendment 7613.1 in the name of Mark Griffin, which seeks to amend motion 7613 in the name of Miles Briggs on homeless emergency, be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now.
I call Cocab Stewart to cast a proxy vote. No. Thank you, Ms Stewart. We'll ensure that's recorded. The vote is closed and I call Mary Goujon for a point of order. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. My app wouldn't connect. I would have voted no. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. I can confirm, Ms Webber, that your vote has been recorded. I call Sue Webber for a point of order. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I did try to change my vote, but my app froze and it wouldn't refresh. I should have been voting yes. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. All I can say in response to your comments, Ms. Weber, is that your comments are on the record. Thank you. The result of the vote on amendment number 7613.1 in the name of Mark Griffin is yes 53, no 71, there were no abstentions, the amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 7613 in the name of Miles Briggs as amended on homeless emergency be agreed. Are we all agreed? The parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. Before I close the vote, I call Cocab Stewart for a proxy vote. Yes. Thank you, Ms Stewart. We'll ensure that's recorded. The vote is closed. I call Paul O'Kane for a point of order. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. There was an error. I would have voted no. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on motion 7613 in the name of Miles Briggs as amended is yes 69, no 55, there were no abstentions. The motion as amended is therefore agreed. Can I remind members that, that if the amendment in the name of Shona Robinson is agreed to, the amendment in the name of Mark Griffin will fall. And the next question is that amendment 7614.2 in the name of Shona Robinson, which seeks to amend motion 7614 in the name of Miles Briggs, on delivering the Home Scotland needs be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. 
The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. I call Cocab Stewart to cast a proxy vote. Yes. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The vote is closed. Point of order, Neil Gray. Point of order, I don't think my app connected. Uh, I would have voted yes. Um, thank you, Mr. Gray. I can confirm that your vote was recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 7614.2 in the name of Shona Robison is yes 69, no 55. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore agreed. The amendment in the name of Mark Griffin therefore falls. Okay. And the next question is that motion 7614 in the name of Miles Briggs, as amended, on delivering the Home Scotland needs be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. I call Cocab Stewart to cast a proxy vote. Yes. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The vote is closed. I call Kenneth Gibson for a point of order. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I couldn't connect to the digital device. I would have voted yes. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on motion 7614 in the name of Miles Briggs as amended is yes 66, no 55. There were no abstentions. The motion as amended is therefore agreed. The next question is that motion 7615 in the name of Mary McCallan on genetic technology precision breeding bill UK legislation be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now.
I call Cocab Stewart to cast a proxy vote. Yes. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on motion 7615 in the name of Mary McAllen is yes 93, no 30. There were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. The next question is that motion 7617 in the name of Keith Brown on P Public Order Bill UK legislation be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motion is therefore agreed. The next question is that motion 7616 in the name of John Swinney on UK Infrastructure Bank Bill UK legislation be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motion is therefore agreed. The next question is that motion 7644 in the name of George Adam on approval of an SSI be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. I call Cocab Stewart to cast a proxy vote. Yes. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. Close. The vote is closed. I call Neil Bibby for a point of order. I would have voted yes, President Officer. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. I call Sharon Dowie for a point of order. I would have abstained. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on motion 7644 in the name of George Adam is yes 87. There were no votes against. There were 34 abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. I propose to ask a single question on two parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? No member objects. The final question is that motions 7645 on approval of an SSI and 7646 on designation of a lead committee in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motions are therefore agreed. And that concludes decision time.